Hey guys, this is Griffin, and um, I download torrents a lot for things that I like to get, and recently I've been downloading movies, and so I thought it'd be kind of a fun idea to, you know, start burning them so I could actually have them in a more permanent thing and be able to take them on the go. So I learned how to, and I thought it'd be a good idea because I haven't released a video in a long time because I've been on vacation and stuff, to show you guys how to do that. So for this, you're going to need three programs. You're going to need DVD Flick, IMG Burn, and uTorrent or BitTorrent, basically anything that lets you do stuff with torrents. So, yeah. So now that we have that, let's get started. So, you're going to go to your internet browser and go to cat.ph or kickass.to. This is kickass torrents, and this is my favorite torrent site, just because it's easy. So, I want to get download the movie Orphan, so I'm just going to look up Orphan and hit search. And now, I recorded this earlier, but I forgot to turn on my mic, which is <laughs> terrible. And... Okay, so all these ones are Orphan Black. I need to go to page 3 because that's where the one I'm looking for is. So, as you can see... Right... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Right here. So, basically you just want to look for your what it is. This is Orphan 720BR RIP. That means it's like ripped from a Blu-ray movie. And so, that means it's good quality. And before you ever download something, always hover over the comments, see how it is. So right here, you can see all this, it's, it's all good. Um, so now what you want to do, is you want to go over to this little arrow right here, it says download torrent file when you hover over it, and click it. I'm not going to, because I've already clicked it, and got it started downloading from last time. But basically, when you click it, you're... Okay, you know what, I'm actually going to open this just for the sake of recording. So you're going to click it, you're going to get the download. Click it. Now it's going to ask where you want it to be saved. I recommend saving it to your desktop just because you're going to delete it after you burn it, but it's just easy there, it's accessible. And then it's going to these are the files that you're downloading. And so there's usually a picture or like a what's it called? A notepad file with it, but that's I just leave it on. And then you hit okay. So now under downloading, you'll see it. Mine's been downloading for a few minutes, and it's at 7%. So this is a pretty fast download. And right here it tells you your download speed, which is like how fast it's going. And right here is estimated time. I don't know what the A is for. But that's about how much longer it'll be taking to download. And so depending upon if you're using an internet browser, browsers will hog up the internet and make this take longer. But if you just leave it closed and like go watch a movie or something or go play games that don't require online then you should be good but um yeah i'm gonna let that download and i'll come back to you guys when it's done so brb all right guys so it just finished downloading and once it finishes downloading it's gonna go into this little place that says seeding but what i usually do is i just hit stop because you know it doesn't need to do that so now you have this little folder and you have you know the movie right there mm. Just to prove that it's all legit, you can go into it. Whoops, move the camera on accident. Oh. oh, little dog, you see? St. Mariana's? Okay, I'm sorry. There's everything. So now what you want to do is open up DVD Flick, which is a free program. All links to for downloads will be in the description. And you're going to get this. So what you want to start by doing is get um, your movie and get the video file and put it in. So you can see right there, um, I will have to go in and trim this down two minutes because my CDs only hold two hours worth of video. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. I went ahead and uh, cut out the credits for that, and so... Anyways, now what you want to do is first go to Menu Settings. And once you're there, you basically get to pick what your menu looks like. And, you know, you can kind of do whatever. I usually just go with Plasmosphere and call it good, and hit Accept. So now go to Project Settings, and what you want to do is go ahead and just put in the name of the movie. So this is Orphan. And I'm just going to copy that. Um, right, whoops, right here where it says Encoder, change that to Normal. After that, go to video. This will usually be whatever it is. If you're in uh, America, you want to leave it as NTC. 
Um, I believe like Europe and stuff like that does PAL, but it'll usually be on whatever it needs to be. Audio playback, what I do is I go return to menu, so it just does that. Now burning, go ahead and hit burn project to disk. Again, name of the movie. And I like to hit eject tray when done, so I can just kind of do whatever while it does its thing. So now I am going to switch over to my iPod so I can show you guys what you want to do from here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over right now. Alright guys, so I'm on my iPod now and what you want to do is go to your computer and you know, open the disk slot. And I'm going to grab where I'm keeping my blank DVDs. These are what I'm using. Holds 120 minutes. And so you're going to go ahead and just put that in. And uh, there you go. See, that's what the menu thing looks like. I was watching a movie earlier. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and uh, switch back. Alright, so now what you're going to do is just click accept and hit create DVD. That, whenever this comes up, just hit yes and okay. It's all good. And so now what it's going to do is this is going to take a while. It's going to encode the video, encode the audio, do all that. When it says fi finalize, IMG burn will open up and it will start doing a bunch of stuff. And so I'll come back to this when it starts doing that. But until then, I will see you guys when this is done. All right, guys. So just like I said, um, IMG burn did open up just now. And so now it's this is basically the home stretch. This is where it actually starts burning the DVD, and it'll basically tell you the right. This is going to be your progress bar right here, and that's all you really need to worry about. Um, time remaining is also where you're going to find how long to and quote for quote exactness that like how long exactly it'll take exactly ish being a very rough and loose number. So as you can see right here, it's gonna be burning pretty fast so again I'll be back with you guys when it's all done and uh, after this we're gonna move to the iPod and I'll show you what to do from here well I mean there's nothing to do from here but I'm just gonna show you this isn't like BS or anything alright guys so it did just now finish so in a moment it should be coming out of there um, with our newly burned DVD and I request, or not request, I suggest you get a sharpie, there it is, I'd get a sharpie to write down the name of it on, I also write down what it's um rated, so let me take the cap off real quick, eh. so we did orphans, that's what I'm going to write, and orphan is rated R, okay cool. So, now, just to make sure everything's all good, I have my PlayStation up here, because that's just what I watch movies on, so go ahead and put it in. Whoops. If we look up, see there's a DVD-R thing. And it should start up in just a second. So here you go, the title screen, Orphan. It just has a little thing, play resume. Just go ahead and hit play. And uh your movie will start. And I'll like skip forward a bit. Yeah, that's the end of it. Ah. Go back. But yeah, so I'm gonna sit down and enjoy Orphan. I hope you guys found this tutorial uh helpful. And uh so yeah, thanks for watching.